good morning students in this lecture i will discuss about the hyperlink using anchor tag the attributes of anchor tag then image attributes and image tag so let's begin with the hyperlinks as we know hyperlinks denotes the link or the pointer which is pointing to some other web page some section of text or images in the html document can be linked to external document or to a specific place within the same document the text or the image that provides such linkage is called the hypertext one web page may point link to other web pages this linking is called hyperlink and the text that is pointing to the another web page is called hypertext hyperlink can be created by using anchor tag and it is denoted by a tag everything that is written inside the a tag is called hyperlink the document to be linked to need to be specified by using href attribute of a tag or we can say href attribute denotes the url of the linked web page and here target attribute denotes where to open the link whether on the same window or new window as you can see from the example a href is equal to url of the web page that is to be linked and target may have the following options underscore blank means the web page will open in a new window underscore self means the hyperlink will open in the same frame underscore parent means it will open in parent frame underscore top it denotes that it will open in full body of the window and you can uh, give same name also and every hyperlink has some default settings or uh, default colors as blue color and they are underlined if you want to change these colors then we have three different attributes that are used in body tag newer version of html does not support these 
attributes link attribute denotes the default color of the hyperlink uh, or you can change the default color of the hyperlink a link specifies the color when the link is active v link specifies the color of the hyperlink after visiting it here is an example of an anchor tag or hyperlink html is the starting tag then inside head section there is a title tag title of the web page is anchor example inside body there is an hyperlink created using a tag a h r e f is equal to http colon double slash gla dot ac dot in this is the full url of the website and target specifies that this website should open in a new window and the content written on the web page as a hyperlink is gla university as you can see from the output this is the output if you click on this gla university a new uh, the website will open in new window suppose uh, if you want to link to the document a.html that is present on the same folder then we will write a h r e f is equal to a.html a1.html suppose even is the name of the web page and it is present on the same folder of the web page you are creating then you can simply write the name of the web page clear and if you want to link to the document a1.html that is present on different folder on the hard disk of a computer then you can write a h r e f then you will have to give the full path of the web page and if you want to link to the document to an external website then we will write the full path of the website and if you want to link to an email id hyperlink to a to the document to an email id then we write a h r e f is equal to mail to abc at the rate gl gmail dot com abc at the rate gmail dot com is the email address which you want to link and now if you want to create bookmark or if you want to link to some specific section of the same web page then we can write the code in two step before that let's see a bookmark is a hypertext which when clicked instead of opening a new with document jumps to another portion of the same document 
okay there are two steps to create a bookmark step number 1 mark the location to be jumped using name or id attribute you can name that section using name or id attribute a name is equal to location the next step is to create hyperlink for this location using specified name right again we have two options for external document reference we write ahref is equal to full uh, web page url of web page has location name this location name and if it is present on the same document then we can simply write ahref is equal to has location underscore name now you can see from the example also uh, see inside body tag there is h1 tag and table of contents it is displayed as table of content then p tag for paragraph ahref is equal to section 1 c here we are creating a hyperlink section 1 and next hyperlink is section 2 has section 2 c these are the hyperlinks on the same document present on the same document and as you can see here these are web introduction is section 1 and web history is the section 2 here i have specified the name of this section as s2 name is equal to section 1 web introduction and s2 name is equal to section 2 c i have specified the name of the section here for web introduction and web history as section 1 and section 2 now using these names we have given reference to the hyperlink next we will move to image tag for image tag we write img inside angular bracket this is a single tag images can be displayed on the web page using img tag and the source of the image to be displayed is specified in the src attribute as you can see from this example inside body section there is img src is equal to full path of the image then height is equal to 100 width is equal to 250 alt my computer oh, this would be only computer okay so here you can see src denotes the path of the uh, uh, url path of the image where image is stored then height denotes the height of this image on the web page in pixels 
and width denotes the width of this image and alt indicates the alternate name of the image in case image is not displayed by the browser next as you can see from this example img src is equal to the full url of the image from it is taken from the website next images image tag attributes src indicates the location of the image alt indicates alternate text for display height indicates number of pixels of the height width indicates number of pixels of the width border indicates the border around the image and align indicates the alignment of the text around the image and this is the assignment you can uh, check what happens if we use left right top bottom or middle value for alignment img src is the full part this is full part height width and border is equal to 0 here so there was no border in the image alignment tag here alignment attribute specifies the alignment of the text around the image not the alignment of the image remember it no image is taken from the hard disk as you can see here if we write align is equal to border then i have written some text this is my computer then this text is displayed at the around the bottom of this image if we write here top then it it should have displayed here other left and right middle you can check okay that's all for this lecture next we will continue in our next lecture